right, tell us what this MakerBot is. So this is my MakerBot, and this is me and my friends started a company called MakerBot Industries to make 3D printers that anybody can buy. Right now, like before this, you'd have to spend like $100,000 to get a 3D printer. And we wanted to make one affordable so that people could have it on their desktop, and they could be like, yeah, I want, you know, uh, I want... Boobies! <laughs> Well, anything you can imagine, okay? <laughs> so um, then it just, you design it in the 3D software, it's really easy now, and you print it out. And it builds it up layer by layer to make whatever you want. This is a secret compartment box. Wow, that's really, really cool. Yeah. So the model of the tallest building in the entire world, Empire State Building. Okay, and what else? Oh, look at that. We've got a little clone army we're building right now. A stormtrooper? Yeah. But seriously, like, how much do you think this will cost if it's not $100,000? Oh. Because for me, affordable is like a dollar. Okay, so uh, we're selling kits for $750. Oh, okay. So you can put it together yourself. You've it got... is less than my rent. Yeah, so just don't pay rent for a month. Maria, no rent this month. <laughs> this is what I'm getting. <laughs> Good plan. I like this plan. Let's look at how it works. So what happens is this plastic right here comes down here. It goes into the extruder and gets heated up. And then it comes out, and layer by layer, it builds it up. Uh, this kind of looks like spaghetti. It's kind of as if you're making something out of lots of layers of spaghetti, except it's really thin, 0.4 of a millimeter. And where you put it, you feed the design into the... Yeah, we uh, design it on your computer in a 3D modeling program like SketchUp or Blender is an open source one we like. And then you export it, and it we have a program that slices it up and makes the tool path, and then you just create the object. Okay, but not to bring it back to me or anything, but if we really did make a three-model torso of my body, like a, then we could make one, right? We're actually, well, one of the things we really are excited about doing next is making a scanner so that we could scan your body or whatever, or maybe, you know, you want to scan your hand and then you, your thumb gets cut off. Oh, and then we can... A new thumb. Okay. All right. That's good. But I would probably just do my boobs. Okay. Well... And then sell them. <laughs> I think this is a good business plan. You can go far with this. I think GTV could get a lot more sponsorships that way. You know, that's one of the things that's going to happen is that people are going to... We don't know all the crazy things that people are going to make with this. And people are going to build businesses on this machine. Wow. For $750? It's a good business plan. 3D models of whatever your imagination decides. I can keep going. I mean, basically, the other cool thing is like this is decentralized manufacturing. Like right now, if you want something, you have to buy it. You have to go to the store. With this, you're like, you know, I'd like a new spoon or I'd like a new fork and I'd like my name on it. And then you can just model it up, print it out. You're good to go. Ooh, I never thought of that. So. Very, very excellent. And how long does it take to make a spoon? Uh, it would probably take about 15 minutes. Okay. That's less than a trip to the store. Yeah. Well, you know, you could boil the water in that time and then put the, the pasta in or whatever. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Bree. My pleasure.